Jay Byer Kropensky, uh, live in St. Paul, Minnesota, uh, 49 years old. I woke up one Sunday morning and sure enough, my eyes were yellow and my skin was kind of orangish yellow. The doctor looked at me and obviously knew what was wrong, that my liver wasn't functioning right. They said, you know, we, you know, your liver's not functioning like it should. And I really don't remember much after that for um, 49 days. They ended up taking 18 liters of fluid off my abdomen at that point in time and put me in an induced coma in ICU. So they, they decided to take a risk uh, and see if they could, you know, put me on dialysis, get me healthy enough, because the only thing that would save me at that point in time would be a, a liver and a kidney transplant, but I would have to be healthy enough to be transplanted, um, which is a whole evaluation process. Plus they would have to have, you know, a kidney and a liver available for me. Um, and that of course takes quite a bit of time. So they needed to figure out a way of how do we keep this really seriously ill person alive and get them slightly better enough to be able to actually, you know, go through the whole transplant process. So that was just a, a real battle. I was in the hospital for, you know, over four months at that point in time. Um, when I got out of ICU, I couldn't, you know, walk. I couldn't lift a glass of water um, because with liver disease, your muscles just deteriorate. And of course, being in bed that long, you know, um, that happens to anybody. But without my liver really functioning, to build up any kind of muscle was really, really difficult. Trying to balance the two needs of what the liver needs and what the kidney needs don't always jive together. So it was kind of a constant battle with my doctors having to work together to figure out what the best course of action was. I was in and out of the hospital um, 12 times over about a five or six month time period. You know, it was just like, is he gonna make it long enough to be transplanted or not? And so that was a constant kind of, you know, thought in everybody's mind of, you know, can we can we make it to kind of the end game, I guess, which is transplant for me. You did. So. Yes, I did, yeah. And that was, you know, now six and a half years ago. And fortunately after transplant, um, I haven't been back to the hospital, which is very unusual for a, a kidney liver transplant patient because it, we tend to have more problems and issues. So um, I've been very, very fortunate in that regard. I, I think the big thing is, is people really have to advocate for themselves or their, ca their caregivers have to advocate for themselves. It's really important. It's not an easy thing to navigate. Um, you know, I guess any health crisis isn't easy to navigate, but liver disease tends to be much more difficult because uh, there's many factors that are that really come into play um, in trying to balance things out because the liver does so many things for the body and that's one thing I don't think people really think about their liver very much you think about your heart it pumps blood and everything you know heart this heart that but the the liver does so many more things of you know building muscles and all kinds of things that you never even think about in, in my case I think you know um, what really kept me going was my family you know really wanting to to be able to be with them